Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 133. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Alright, so we are here now for the FXX trophy. I'm going to be taking the Ferrari. Uh, I've got, well, a Ferrari. <laughs> we got three more championships to actually complete. Uh, so by, wow, five days time, we should be on the final event. If you're watching this on YouTube, not long to go. Uh, and then obviously we've got like the final event of this section. We still got this bit to do, but these should take a little bit quicker. Actually, uh, I think this main professional section is just the ball lake, the massive chunk of just lots of stuff to do. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Le Mans Circuit, Road America, Sedona Raceway, Camino Vio de Montserrat, Mazda Raceway, and then Camino Vio de Montserrat again. But the slightly smaller one. Let's get going. Ooh, baby. Everything you want. Yeah. I don't know the lyrics of this one. <laughs> oh, God. All right, but the Ferrari... Sounding as good as ever, and wow. <laughs> what a car. Except for the fact this Ferrari in front of me won't get out the way. Much better. Not bad. I remember how good the interior is. Even the fact that they um, simulated, like, for a game like this, where it was already difficult enough to add, like, extra camera views and stuff like that, to then add, like, an alternate camera that isn't like the rear view mirror, because obviously there is no rear view window. It's just a camera feed. But they've used, like, different code to make the camera look more realistic to what a camera would look like and not just a mirror. The amount of extra unnecessary detail they went in for this this game in particular is a lot of uh, extra detail put into this game. It's, it's nice to see. Uh, it's a shame that you don't see that in modern day games. It's all about money now. So people don't put as much passion into it. It would be nice to see video game developers actually, you know, putting more effort, putting more pride into their work. They do the typical media like, oh, we put so much effort in, but they, they don't really. I think the only studios that actually put a substantial amount of effort into their games are ones that are solely owned by Sony. Like, Sony games are just on a different level. There's so much more passion that gets put into those games. I mean, you look at all the Xbox exclusives. How many Xbox exclusives do you actually play that you're like, ah, there's been a lot of effort put into this. Forza has died off. Halo has died off. Gears of War has died off. It's now just called Gears, in it? Oh, not ideal. And that's like three of Xbox's main franchises. Xbox does seem to have to buy out a lot of third-party studios. I have no problem with Xbox buying companies like Activision. But it does seem that to make their portfolio look better, they've been having to buy out more studios. 
And even then, the studios they're buying aren't great. I do hope that um, Activision will make another Guitar Hero. Honestly, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Even if they sold it at £100. Alongside with the plastic guitar. And it was £100 to get it. Not even including DLCs or anything like that. Uh, in a heartbeat, buy the game. Give it to me. Now. Mine. Thank you very much. I'll sell a kidney. Oh, shit. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, Activision being acquired by Microsoft is the one saving grace for the Guitar Hero franchise, I think. Because I, I believe Activision still owns the IP for it. I believe they still own the rights to the name Guitar Hero. I'm not 100% sure. Harmonix pretty much has just given up. They made Fuser, which... I was alright with Fuser, but it, it just wasn't right. And I mean, that was pretty much a nail in the coffin. They were like, hmm, do we make a new rock band, or do we make a game that will kill our studio? Hmm, let's go with the latter. And they made Fuser. It's pretty much killed off Harmonix. Unless they are secretly working on <laughs> making another rock band, I doubt we're going to see. I doubt we're going to see harmonics become a thing. Did rock band ever come out on, um, uh, what's it called? Xbox. Uh, not Xbox. PC. It came out on Xbox. I love how little the brake lights are on this as well. Like tiny little dots. I adore... Fucking out. There we go. Holy fuck. Alright, one more lap. 
left to go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Dunlop tire. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can count. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, we got uh, two more minutes left of this race. This is one hell of a quick car. The thing is, Ferrari has always made like a flagship performance car every 10 years, pretty much. Which means. Wow, it was 2013 when the LaFerrari came out. It was like 2002, 2003. When the. Enzo came out. So we're due for a really big rework from Ferrari, like a high performance car. Because the LaFerrari was their last high performance car, but they're making like general sports cars that are as powerful as the LaFerrari. So it's only a matter of time. Before they make something, you know, that's got oomph. It's fast. I don't know. Definitely next year we should see something. And then we can get an FXX JK. <laughs> I wonder what the next um, FXX would be. Because they would make another FXX, definitely. Yo, Kodo, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back. I mean, to be fair, I kind of just said, like, ah, fuck it, I'm not going to bother with season mode in this. Mainly because I've already going to be doing a metric fuck ton of events on the actual event list. It's kind of pointless to do season mode. Because season mode just adds more stuff to do. For me. Um, for anyone else, it doesn't really do anything other than shuffle up what order you do events. And it sort of randomizes what events you can do. Um, but for me, I would have to do the event list and then go through every single championship as a whole anyways. So all the races I did in season mode, I'd still have to do. Stupid. C 
68 event mode championship events. Not bad. Yeah, like I said, I'm really not bothering with season mode. I'm not going to do the world tour either in uh, Forza 4. I think the world tour is better than how season mode was structured. Um, world tour was a million times better. The only problem is world tour is fucking huge. Uh, there's not 10 years of world tour. There's 10 chapters. Um... It's not like years. It's, it's really strange. Um, because it's not like, oh, look, here's a year. Here's another year. It's, it's just 10 chapters and they give you like lower end and then higher and then higher and then higher until you get to the top end stuff. But it is very random as well. I could... The thing is, though, with World Tour, you can actually, uh, in theory, just straight up complete the whole event list just by doing World Tour. Um, I think it's slightly different in Motorsport 3. But in Motorsport 4, you can just pretty much complete all the events just through World Tour. Um, but uh, I'm just going to be doing it through the event list. Because why the fuck not? We're not actually that far away from completing this game, actually. We're 71% uh, completed. The only thing that is going to take absolutely fucking forever is those final world championships. Um, I believe one of them is about three and a half hours long to complete. Four hours, something like that. Which is the final one. But that's got 13 races in it and each one's about 20 minutes. So that's going to be fun. Um, but that's going to be split up into four videos probably. I doubt I'll be doing it all in one. But they will be long videos. So, woohoo. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. The endurance races will be done in one video, but they're only about an hour, hour and a bit. They're not anything ridiculous, so I shouldn't have any problem doing that. Wow for the night fuck being polite. I'm going well for the night fuck being polite. Oh miss that one. Nice one. Uh, I'm, I know what I'm going to be buying. Um, 
What's it called? When I got my first paycheck from whatever job I got. <laughs> first thing I'm buying. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Gold Edition. Complete one. Like the big one. <laughs> £112 one. It's fucking ridiculous how expensive that game is, but it's... It's worth it. There's a lot of content in that game. Um, yeah. AC Valhalla. Gonna be getting that. Probably buy Domino's, I think. I'm gonna buy a Domino's. It'd be very nice. Have a nice pizza. I fucking love cheeseburger pizza. I need to take a couple of these rennies. Honestly, I've been having like really bad like fucking heartburn lately, and it's unbearable. Like it, it started sort of picking up about a month ago, and then it died out. Like I had it for about a week, and then it died out. And it wasn't a problem, and now it's picked up again, which is kind of fucking annoying. Because I was sort of associating it with like, oh, maybe it's stuff that I'm eating. But I've been eating different things and none of them have matched. Like, the stuff I'm eating now doesn't match up to the stuff I was eating when I was suffering from it before. And it also doesn't match up with the stuff that I was eating when I wasn't suffering with it. So it can't be anything related to food. I don't know. Might be to do with spicy stuff, actually. But... And then it's never really happened, so... I don't know. It's strange. Very strange. We got uh, one more lap to go. Let's go, lads! F H one to F five. How are you doing, thumbnails? Pretty much similar to before, to be honest. Um, I think what I'll do is every hour. I don't know. Actually, I haven't thought that far ahead. Um, I really don't know. I think I might just end up taking like t twenty minutes to get some cool thumbnails of the cars that I'm. I've driven, so nothing related to like the races and stuff. Like with motorsport, I've sort of always, ah, I'll take this car on the track that I drove in this episode, and I'll take a photo. I think for for Horizon in particular, I think I'll just take a picture of one of the cars I've driven. So if an episode has two or three different cars, I'll pick a car. Uh, and. So, for... <sighs> here's a difficult thing. So, Motorsport 1 and... Sorry, Horizon. <clears throat> I'll explain this in a minute. I'll explain it in the next race. So that it's... As one thing. It'll make more sense to the YouTube audience. So, yeah. Um, when it comes to Horizon 1... <clears throat> So, the way that Horizon 1 is structured is it's sort of structured in, like, phases. 
based around the wristband sort of XP system. So the plan is probably to just record an entire wristband because I'm going to be completing all the events. Um, so I'll probably record an entire wristband and then do the head-to-head -head at the end of each wristband. Um... Beyond that, I'm not actually 100% sure. It, it might just be that we'll race, get rid of most of the traveling, and just keep in maybe some funny moments as we're driving. Um, I know the Horizon games are going to take a little longer to edit, and they're going to be a little shorter um, than the motorsport stuff. So stay tuned for the Horizon ones, because I'm going to be trying some new stuff for that. Um... But yeah, I, be I believe we're going to be doing some uh, different stuff for Horizon 1. We'll probably record like an entire wristband uh, and then just crop out. Might get two or three videos per wristband. I'm not 100% sure how long it would take. So, we'll see. Um... Yeah, Horizon 1's basically all just solely based. No, so I'll be doing them in order. So as soon as I finish Motorsport 4, it'll move on to Horizon 1. So I'm, I'm going in video game order. Um, I was contemplating doing like all the Motorsports and then the Horizons, but I think if we end up getting Motorsport... Wow. I think by the time I finish all the Motorsports, the next Motorsport would have been out anyways, but... I think for the sake of, like, going in chronological order, it just makes more sense to do them in chronological order. So, after Motorsport 4, I'll move on to Horizon 1 and then Motorsport 5. Plus, it mixes it up for me and the stream as well. I'll end up doing slightly different falls of content. Because it's just felt very same old, same old at the moment. Like, oh yay, we've done 250 videos of driving in a circle. So as soon as we get the Horizon stuff, that's what's going to mix it up. Uh, Horizon 1 will be pretty much that. Respect. I think that's all there is. And then a couple of street races. So, uh, And then potentially maybe for an entire episode, we just sit and find barn finds. I don't know. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Because... Um, nah, maybe not. I don't think I'll do, like, barn find videos and stuff like that, because that doesn't really go as part of, like, a walkthrough. Oh, yeah, showcases. There's ten of those, isn't there? We could do all the showcases in one go. Oh, but it forces you to do them as you go along, doesn't it? Or at least it forces you to do the first one before you can continue. Um, yeah. So we got the showcases. Horizon 2, I believe I'll do um, the entire game and then the bucket lists at the end. I think you can go through the game without doing the... Um, bucket lists, but I may have... I don't know. But uh, I'll probably save all the bucket lists for the final episode and just do that. It forces the first bucket list. That's stupid. Well, yeah, so Horizon 2 will do all the bucket lists. Um, that's going to take some time. Um, yeah, Horizon 3 does it as well. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. We'll, we'll mix in a couple of bucket lists here and there then. I don't know. I might just do the one bucket list and then come back to all of them at the end. Who knows? Um, yeah, I think I might do that. Uh, yeah, so Horizon 2 is going to be two championships of video. Um, I think for the first three videos will be unedited so it will be me traveling around 
And then after that, I'll start cropping out, like, the traveling and just start fast traveling to places. Um, the only things that won't be cropped out at all are the road trips. The road trips will stay in all of the videos. So, should be fun. That's actually a good idea, Cotto. I could cut out the bucket list and do that later. Because that's what I did with um, Boat Sport 1. I had to do one of the point-to-point -point races early to unlock a car. Like, I had to do one of the level 15 ones before I'd even finished any of the level, like, 5 events. Or, like, the level 10s. I think it was, like, a level 10 with this Corvette Stingray or something. So I had to sort of fast track one of those events to unlock that first. Hey, nice one, fellow. Yeah, so Horizon 2 will just be all of the events in order. I, I think for Horizon 2, we're going to sort of do more randomization. Um, pretty much, chat will pick the location every single time, so... Uh, I, th I think for the first six championships, you have to unlock all the locations first. But after that, you sort of get to pick where you want to go. Um, so once we're actually able to pick what location to go to, uh, chat will basically pick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the DLCs. The DLCs will basically just be structured exactly the same as the main game how we do the main games, because most of them are very similar. Uh, Horizon 3 will just be complete all the events, do all the bucket lists. Um, there's not really much more to Horizon 3 than that, really. Uh, Horizon 4 is just complete all the stories, complete all the events. No, I explained this to you already, Kodo. Ages ago, when you asked. Because it's not an actual Horizon game. It's just sort of like a Fast and Furious thing that they did. It's like Forza Street. Forza Street is an actual Forza game. It's got the Forza branding on it. And sure, uh, Horizon 2 Fast and Furious is technically more. Yeah, but the thing is, you've got the 360 version. But no matter what, I don't really want to um, want to do that one just because of the fact it's not it's barely a Forza game. Um, and the problem is um, the Horizon 2 Fast and Furious game came out before um, Forza Motorsport 5. So if I was going based off of chronological order, I would have to do Forza Horizon 1, Forza Horizon 2 Fast and Furious, Forza Motorsport 5, Forza Horizon 2. Seems very backwards, so... For the sake of avoiding confusion, not doing a half-assed game, and just... I mean, by all means, I could... play it on stream, like, in the off time between the games, by all means, but I wouldn't be doing it for YouTube. Unless I do it as a bonus for, like, at the end. Um, I still need to get the Rally DLC sorted out, so I'm going to ask around. See if anyone knows anyone that's got the Horizon 1 Rally DLC and doesn't mind me using their account. Because, um, yeah, I, I need to do the, the Rally DLC. You can't get it. There's no way... I've looked for keys. There's no way you can get a code for it. Um, I mean, if you find one, Kono, send it to me and I'll literally buy it there and then. But... Yeah, I, I, I really need a, a Rally DLC key. Because if we get the Rally DLC, I'm do basically just doing all the Horizon DLCs. Because Horizon DLC's actually added stuff. 
The Forza ones didn't really add anything to the game. It was just, oh look, here's some new cars and a couple of races. It wasn't anything special. There's a Reddit for game shares. Ooh. Well, I might have to have a look at that. It won't be for another, like, six plus months anyways. I mean, even to the point I'd be willing to buy someone a game for their account just to game share. Like, I would I would gift someone, like, I don't know, WRC, the next Forza game. And, really. Especially as it gets close to time I've actually got money. I would happily do that just to be able to um, play that Rally DLC. So if you're watching and you have the Rally DLC... And you want to help the channel out? Hit me up, bitch! Without the bitch part, um, you would be a, a very great help. <laughs> oh, I've shot myself in the foot with that one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.